How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Thrunite BSS V4 Tactical Flashlight. This is a 2500 lumen tactical light made by Thrunite but designed by Jack over at Black Scout Survival. Now if you're not familiar with his content, he is one of the biggest names in the survival and tactical community here on YouTube. And I will put a link to his channel in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But today is all about this light. So if you like this kind of content, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Now let's check this thing out. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. All right, guys, this is the Thrunite BSS V4 Tactical Flashlight. The BSS stands for Black Scout Survival, and you do see his logo here on the end. This light uh, is made by Thrunite, but designed by Jack over at Black Scout Survival. I went with the black version. It does also come in like a coyote tan. That's pretty cool. Now, real quick, I'm just going to show you what all it comes with. Uh, of course, it does have some little extra goodies here. It's going to come with a lanyard an extra tail cap, some extra uh, charging port covers, and then some extra O-rings. It also comes with a red light filter. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And then just your standard flashlight holster. Uh, nothing super special there. Have our mini USB charging cable, and then the pocket clip. The pocket clip's just gonna fit on right here into that groove, just like that. Now, like I said before, this flashlight was designed by Black Scout Survival, so you'll see his logo there. But this is a through night flashlight. They make some really high quality lights and they're kind of known for making some of the brightest lights there are on the market right now. Let's just take a look at some of the features of the light here. You can see it has some nice knurling here on the sides to help you get a good grip on the flashlight. And one thing you can't help but notice right off the bat is this strike bezel on here. This is one of the most aggressive strike bezels I've seen on a flashlight. And that's because this is designed as a tactical flashlight. Uh, that strike bezel is great for self-defense. It can also be a rescue tool. You can use it to break windows and things like that. But one thing that's unique about this Black Scout Survival Light is that the strike bezel is removable if you wanted to remove it. So you just remove that just like that and you could set that to the side and you could run the flashlight just like this if you wanted to. It does have a one inch diameter, so it's gonna be compatible with a lot of weapon mounts and things like that if you wanted to try to use this as a weapon light. It's got a nice sturdy clip there. See the charging port here on the side has a rubber door that uh, helps keep out dust and water and things like that out of that charging port. Now with that said, this light has a waterproof rating of IPX8. So it is a very high waterproof level. So you can use this light in pretty much any situation without having to worry about being damaged by rain or if you drop it in a puddle or anything like that. It does have kind of a recessed tail switch here on the back end. It does allow it to tail stand if you wanted to use this uh, to light up an area as like a lantern. You see these holes here on the back on both sides are for attaching your lanyard if you want to run the lanyard with this light. To access your battery, you're just gonna twist off the tail cap here on the back. Got a nice big rechargeable battery in there. And this can also run off of two CR123 batteries as well. The body of the light is an anodized aluminum uh, and the strike bezel is a stainless steel. Another thing you notice right off the bat about this light is it does have a tail cap, but it also has a side switch. And we'll just go through the modes here and show you what all the different modes are. The tail switch here is going to always be the same. It's just an on off and it's going to give you the max brightness. It's going to give you 2,523 lumens. And that's just a simple on off. That tail switch is always going to give you that full brightness. And if you uh, hit your side switch here, that's going to take you into low mode. That's 33 lumens. Now, if you just click and hold down, it's going to cycle through low, medium, and high. So you got low, medium, and high. There, it's just cycling through the 33 lumens. Medium is 350 lumens, 
and then high is 1426 lumens. It does have a couple other modes here with the light in the off position. If you hold down that side switch, it's gonna take you into a firefly mode. I'll just show you that real quick. That is really almost nothing. That's just firefly mode. It gives you just enough to light up like a map or something like that so that you're not giving off too much light if you're trying to remain hidden or something like that. You can use that firefly mode without going to some of those higher modes. And then again, if we go to the switch and we hit that three times, that's going to give us our strobe. Let me also just show you real quick how this red light filter works. It just screws onto the end there where that strike bezel would go. And you can see there, it gives you a red filter. Now the purpose of something like that is uh, if it was at night, you're in uh, pitch black darkness and you wanted to use this light, but you wanted to maintain your night vision. If you went without that filter, um, a really bright white light could really take away your night vision. You're not going to be able to see well once you turn that light off. But uh, going with that red light filter is going to help maintain your night vision so that once that light goes off, your eyes are still adjusted for the darkness. So this little light is really just packed with features. We have six different modes. You got the quick tactical button here on the back that's going to take you straight to your turbo mode. And then you have your side switch here to cycle through all the other modes. Now the battery life on this thing is actually really good. Now on that Firefly mode, you can get 56 days of battery life out of this thing on the Firefly mode. Uh, of course, that's only half a lumen. Uh, you're going to get 55 hours at the low mode, 33 lumens four and a half hours at medium mode, that's 350 lumens. And that 350 lumens is probably the setting you're gonna be using this light at most often. 350 lumens is usually pretty good for your everyday task. On high mode, you have 150 minutes, that's the 1400 lumens. And then the turbo mode, it says you have 147 minutes, that's at the 2523 lumens. And then on strobe, you get about 210 minutes. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the features of this light. Now let's take it outside and I'll show you what kind of brightness you can expect from this light. All right, we are outside here, guys. There is our low. Now this is right in front of me. That playset out there, it's about 25 yards away. It just barely lights that up. I'm going to flip over to medium. That is a big jump there. Nice wide flood there. Lights up the playset much better. That playset, like I said, is about 25 yards away. Those trees back there just barely puts a little glow on those. Those are about 50 yards. And then there's high. The high does a really good job, lights up that whole playset, lights up pretty much everything in the view of the camera here, and definitely reaches out to those trees. And then we'll go to turbo. All right, and there's turbo, that's the highest setting. Lights up pretty much the whole backyard here, very nicely. Nice wide beam. Not too hot in the middle. Not bad. Overall, I think you got a really good quality light here. Jack over at Black Scout Survival did a great job of designing this. If you want to get one of these lights for yourself, I will put a link down in the description below. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or anything about this flashlight. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.